Could you tell us who you are? My name is Ollie McBann. I was born in Charter Street in Warren Point in, uh, on the 6th of September 1949 and I have uh, lived in the town all my life. What is your fondest memory of Warren Point? My earliest memory uh, in Warren Point was when I was about six years old and we were going to the cinema. Now, people don't believe there was a cinema in Warren Point but it's now the Balmoral Hotel Ballroom and th my mummy gave me a thumpney bit, an Irish thumpney bit with a little hair on it and the Irish thumpney bit got you two gobstoppers and into the cinema f for the thumpney bit and after the cinema we'd go see Audie Murphy and Roy Rogers and all those movies and after the cinema was over all the boys would leave uh, the cinema and go round to the park and we'd play Cowboys and Indians and they remember getting chased out of the park because we broke you know, the branches off the trees to make uh, to make bows and arrows and rifles. But that was the earliest memory. It was absolutely fantastic altogether. Can you tell us anything interesting about the square in Warren Point? Not many people know, but in the square in Warren Point, there was an old uh, gas light. And that was there until about the end, of the, the end of the 60s. And beside the gas lamp, there was a horse truck uh, for like water for the horses on the fair day. The fair day was on the Friday. And there was all sheep and cows and that. So I was coming home from school one day and all the boys were carrying on and they threw me into the horse truck and I had to run home and I was soaking wet. And I can remember all the, all, all my clothes were woolly and they were hanging off me with with, with all the water. And my mummy nearly killed me. And it wasn't very fun. The boys threw me in for a foot, like, you know, for a bit of a laugh, you know. Have you any memories of the cinema in Warren Point? There was also a cinema in Restrever called the Aurora, no longer there. And uh, me and my friend went out, they, they had a late night movie on a Friday night at 12 o'clock. So we went out anyway, and we didn't realise it was Dracula. And I remember we were, uh, it started at midnight and was over about half one in the morning. And of course, there was no cars in that, that time. So me and my mate had to walk home the whole way from Restrever to Warren Point. And we were that afraid, we walked in the middle of the road on the white line because we didn't like to walk along the ditch in case Dracula jumped out and bit us in the neck. <laughs> oh, it was great fun. Did you ever meet any famous people around the town? In the bandstand uh, in the middle 60s, I would have been a teenager then, and a friend of mine, um, he lives in one point, Pete Fitzsimons, we started, to, do you remember all over the world, it was Pop for Peace. So we ran a a pop for peace in the bandstand in Warren Point, and we got we, we got bands from Belfast and uh, and Dublin and all in. There was absolutely and local bands, but there was a priest from Belfast, Father Des Wilson, and he would be like, for, um, Brian Darcy would be today. He was the he was a pop priest, and he came down and hosted the show for us, and the park was absolutely packed with young bands. But nineteen sixty nine in around that, 67, 69. And, and absolutely fantastic. Local bands and big bands from Belfast and big bands from Dublin all wanted to be involved in the pop for peace. So, any other happy stories from Old Warren Point? A lot of people don't remember, but during the Second World War, uh, the GIs, the soldiers from this, uh, the States, were out in Bally Edmund and in Cranfield. And there was, a, and there was a nerve field out, out there. Uh, my mummy, God rest her, uh, lived in Warren Point and her sisters were living there but her sister met a GA at a dance in Warren Point and she lived all her life in Kentucky. She, she only died uh, about maybe six years ago at the age of 94 but she met the GA and that was her gone to America.